not good. Okay. Please, hey, mister. Hey, all right, neighbor. Hey, friend. Hello, sir. Hey there, mister. What the hell's going on? Hey, partner. Excuse me, partner. Hey, partner. Decent town you got here. Yeah? Well, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Hey there! I ain't got time for this. Hi there, mister. All right now, friend. Just calm down. You the local hard man, huh? Now you best shut your big bazoo. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European with clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, uh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
ti adoro. <ride> Date da bere sti uomini. <ride> Angelo Bron. <ride> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <ride> All mine, please. <ride> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Eddie, why don't you... Try going straight. Get the hell out of here. Too late here. Then and gone. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but... You won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. You don't want to speak. Stop. Hey there, boy. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 
I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. First shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. It's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it.
Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. What? What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Come on, let's get this over with. Well, you took your time. Jack! Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Ah. Thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. See you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail, 
Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Have him all on here! <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah. Hey, hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away. This outfit is the best thing I ever done. The <laughs> the nice to hear. <laughs> Sierra Morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Mr. Bell, had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's four years style. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. <laughs> Flor del trompillo. Come on! Me venía How about another one? Let me get you something. Thanks, Mama. Can Yo I play a little? Of course you que los revuelco y los dejo. Well done, John. No stopping you, Karen. You, you better believe it. Really we all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well. I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Hi, Susan. Hi, folks. Howdy, Mr. Morgan. How are you holding up? Hell, I'm doing real good. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> oh, I think so. How are you doing? Doing better. Okay, good. Okay, Arthur. 
Yeah, just taking it all in. It's always good to have the kid back. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to eat some spaghetti. For a chicken? Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. So good to have you back. This is a party. Come on. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. All right, all right. Boring. Well, I should get back to it. Someone I Let never saw. They he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. Maybe play something for Jack later. <laughs> I'll ask him in a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later, then. <laughs> okay, then. Master, you I miss welcome home, little Jack. To learn one more, and a sailor boy came ashore, and he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a candlestick to light. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't so that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Where I want to 